RJ Antoinette, welcome back to another video. 2023 is coming to an end, but Bath & Body Works put in the work for 2023 with their re-releases back to back, back to back, back to back, back to back. And I absolutely enjoyed these 10. Now, these are not just my favorites, but these are just gonna be my top 10 that I wanna talk about because these are ones that I have absolutely like just gone in on, like super mega dense <laughs> that I really enjoy wearing. So, and as you guys do know that now currently the SAS sale is going on. So if you do wanna go ahead get some 75% off, 50% off purchases, you can go ahead and visit them now. They do have the sale going on. You can get many, many different fragrances from different, different collections between the spring, the summer, the winter, the Halloween collections. You can get all of those 75 to 50% off. Each day you're gonna find a different type of percentage. You're gonna find different kinds of deals. So you just have to stick by and stay tuned to see the different deals that are gonna be coming about. So without further ado, we're going to be talking about the top 10 favorite releases of 2023 from Bath & Body Works. I could not do this video without talking about Chasing Fireflies. Chasing Fireflies was my absolute favorite when it came out for the fall time. I don't know, there was something about this that just captured me and captivated me. And every time I wear it, I get major and mega compliments on this. This has golden pear, jasmine blooms, illuminated woods. I paired this with Jimmy Shoe, I want you quite a bit, <laughs> quite a bit. And I absolutely love that layering combo. I got compliments when I mean mega compliments I got mega compliments it's still perfect to wear now and I feel like it can even be worn into the springtime because it has those really nice fruity florals in it so this is a beautiful one that you can almost wear all year round and this is chasing fireflies my next favorite was the one from the summer collection and this is golden mango lagoon a lot of people did not appreciate this but I really really like this one when it came out and I was rocking this with memorable aura from zara the entire summer this has sunny mango salt water woods and coral blooms i like this it has a nice little saltiness to it it has that woodiness and it does have that beautiful mango golden note like a ripe juicy mango to it and i absolutely enjoy this and i love wearing this and even though it is currently like the winter time i still feel like you know even to go to bed i would spritz up with this if i just wanted a little bit of sunshine or happiness kind of feel i love this one I love this. It's so tropical. It's so yummy, delectable, juicy, fruity, floral. I love this. And this is Golden Mango Lagoon. This was released for the summer collection. Now, now, I have to talk about all of these together because all of this was a part of a really, really big collection release. And this is the Gingham Collection. Guys, initially I was kind of scared of how these were going to smell because the original gingham is a little fresh and it's not really my kind of vibe. Like fresh scents are not really my vibe. But let me tell you, the gingham collection did not disappoint. This has a mega dent in it. This is the gingham gorgeous. This one has strawberries peach nectar and peony blooms this is such a beautiful light floral feminine fragrance it's so beautiful and the floor the fruits in this just give it that nice springtime kind of touch and this was perfect for the springtime when they released it i mean people went crazy over this i personally went crazy over this because i bought the travel size sprays for all three of them as well too I just completely enjoyed this collection and I still love wearing this. And this is just super, super, super gorgeous as it is called. This is the Gingham Gorgeous. My next favorite was the Vibrant. The Vibrant had that nice berry vanilla to it. This is Wild Back Blurries, Candied Violets, and Soft Vanilla. Oh my gosh, this is just really, really good. It, it's just as it suggests. Like, I feel like they named these fragrances perfectly for how they smell because this is an exceptionally vibrant kind of scent and I really, really love how this one smells. So this one, I feel like I got a lot of berries in this. 
a lot of and i'm feeling like now personally i like how violet smells violet has this kind of so you know like how tuberous has a gummy kind of smell violet has like a berry kind of vibe so i feel like anytime violet or any kind of candied violet or i even iris as well when they're paired with like a berry they give a really really great vibe so i love how those two notes smell together i'm really into violet right now so this is gingham vibrant and then last but not least this is shocked me because i am not a fresh girly as i was telling you this is gingham fresh this has juicy pear sparkling clementine and fresh daisies and i paired this a lot with mix bars um pear fragrance and i loved how that smelled together because they were both really fresh but this had a little bit more juiciness to it oh i can't wait to start wearing these again Mm, right now i'm just into a lot more vanillas and stuff like that but i love 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 how this smells i love the gingham collection so these three are the gorgeous the vibrant and the fresh this was another collection that i was like whoa like a gourmand essential i always liked when bath and body works did their commands and believe me this collection did not disappoint now a lot of people could not get into the sweet petal pound cake but your girl went in and enjoyed it and I also enjoyed the ice lemon pound cake as well too so the ice lemon pound cake has sugary glazed icing a pure lemon zest and fluffy pound cake and let me tell you it did not disappoint like anytime I just wanted to have that edible kind of cuddly cozy kind of feel I would just spray this on and use the I had the body moisturizer for it as well to so the moisturizer the one in the triangular bottle I bought both of those for each of these and believe me when I tell you mm, mm. <laughs> they are giving a super gourmand it's like a nice iced lemon pound cake and that's my favorite it's one of my favorite desserts from starbucks so i absolutely enjoyed wearing this one definitely a sweet lemony gourmand loved wearing this especially for like those sad or gloomy days like when the rain would fall this is one of those mood booster kind of fragrances and then next we had the sweet petal pound cake which i really really enjoyed this has nurses candied rose raspberry swirl and frosted bunt cake a lot of people were a little disappointed i haven't sprayed this out in a bit i want to spray it out a lot of people were disappointed by this one so there was a lot of controversy around this but for me personally i just really liked it like i got the really nice candied kind of rose petals from this and i could even imagine how this cake looks with the rose petals with the dripping icing the nice sweet soft bunt cake with the vanilla in it and i really love this one i this was just giving like feminine sexy floral yummy delectable gourmand to me and i wore this quite a bit in the springtime and i absolutely enjoyed this this actually paired really really well with this fragrance from zara um pink i can't remember the name of it right now but it will i think it was petal lollipop or something like that i can't remember the name right now guys you know getting old getting old <laughs> so it paired really well with that the florals the rosiness the nice marshmallowy kind of gourmand background they paired really really well together still in love with this one of my absolute favorite releases of 2023 and these were the best gourmands for me both of these the ice lemon pound cake and a sweet petal pound cake this was a summertime release that shocked a lot of people this was the groovy collection the groovy kind of 80s kind of collection i can't remember what the collection was called i am not good with that a lot of people are so down packed with the names of the different collections i'm really bad with that i'm so bad with it but this was groovy watermelon and i think this shocks a lot of people because we have gotten a lot of different watermelon scents from bath and body works but i feel like this was such an authentic juicy watermelon scent oh my goodness and i wore this so much with limpatrice during the summer oh my gosh i loved how this smell so this has juicy pink watermelon sugared strawberry blossoms and lime zest this was a perfect summertime fragrance i kid you not i absolutely loved how this smell it literally still smells to me like a juicy watermelon jolly rancher lollipop that's exactly how it smells to me it has a little juvenile kind of vibe to it but guess what i do not care and i absolutely enjoy wearing this enjoyed wearing it in the summer and i can't wait to pop it out for the summer again and this is groovy 
watermelon we're coming down to our last two and this one was a really great release to me this was a Easter release this is among the clothes and as you can see guys your girl went in a lot of people did not appreciate and love this fragrance but the light airy fluffiness in this was what really drew me to this fragrance so this has wild berry skies and whipped vanilla clothes I mean most of the scents always do kind of similarly smell like something that they have released before but I think that each scent can be appreciated differently. That's just me, that's how I feel, and I'm not backing down from that. I absolutely love how this smells. This just reminds me of this the nice Easter time when the florals are coming in and everything is just replenished and then the earthiness from the rain, the nice fluffiness, like, oh, I just feel like I am literally among the clothes when this spray is out. It just gives me that feel. This absolutely had to be on my list. And this was the newest release, Luminous, 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 Luminous. This is one of the new main characters. She is one of the newest ones on the block. This is the first time we've ever gotten this kind of packaging from Bath & Body Works as well too. And this is the Ruby Corinth Glided Iris and Praline Amber. Let me tell you, this is a decadent, warm, sexy, yummy, delectable, classy fragrance in a bottle. I do not care what anybody wants to say. Your girl is giving and she is giving a hundred percent i wore this with anna abia poudre oh my word so good together so powdery so light so feminine so floral is like she's commanding a room is super sexy it just had all the vibes going on together in it and i absolutely just loved how this smells and i still love how it smells and i got a good weird time out of this as well too super perfumey not juvenile at all this is definitely a sophisticated classy woman in a bottle and this is the luminous one there you have it my lovelies those are my top 10 releases of 2023 for bath and body works i hope you absolutely loved these releases as well too please don't forget that sas is going on now until january grab what you can pay three and four dollars not 18 and 17. <laughs> so go ahead and grab up what you can from the sale I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you are new to my channel thank you so much for sticking by and watching this video please give your friend and your love a nice thumbs up please give me a nice comment down below let me know what you're wearing today and if you have not subscribed yet what are you waiting on I'm watching you please subscribe <laughs> so thank you guys for watching this video I hope you enjoyed it and until the next one bye my loves